Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to VTM Bloodlines Clan Quest. And we are inside the Tremere Chantry, guys. Now, in the last episode, Isaac, the Baron of Hollywood, had asked us to take care of a gargoyle that had taken residence in the Chinese theater. And when you think of gargoyles, you normally think of Tremere, at least in the world of darkness. So let's talk to Strauss and see what he has to say about this uh, gargoyle infestation. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk? Of course. I have a question for you. About gargoyles. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? It seems that one lives in an old theater in Hollywood. I have some questions. What can I tell you about them? What is a gargoyle, exactly? A gargoyle, put simply, is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful, and not to be trifled with. The Tremere created them. Yes. We used our extensive knowledge of blood magics to create a race of protectors. They served that purpose well, but they have also caused many problems. It's a complicated issue. Just how complicated? Well, many gargoyles still serve the Tremere Masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. Sounds like you have some personal experience in this matter, Max. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Wait, wait, wait. Your creation? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector, and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has asked me to get rid of said gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I'll take that under consideration, Max. You do that, Neonate. If I hear that you have divulged my secret to anyone, anyone, you will never be welcome in this chantry again. Do you understand? I understand that you're in a precarious position, Max. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Neonate. I trust you will make the right decision. Farewell. So how exactly do I fight the gargoyle, Max? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. Great. Few more questions. What can I tell you about them? Actually, let me ask you about something else. Of course. What is it you would... Do, 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 do. No, that seems to be everything we can talk to Max about. It's interesting to see it from the non tremere side. So we'll get booted from the Chantry if we decide to let Isaac know. Interesting. Well, speaking of Anarchs, um, which... Max was very 
<laughs> wary of us letting them letting them know about the gargoyle. We need to head to the last round and let Skelter know that he needs to uh, go meet us somewhere to continue with the uh, actual Ventru clan quest of taking him out. Now, we're actually going to jump the gun here. I know that it says that we need to go ahead and give that book um, from the Giovanni Mansion to the assassin, but to tell you the truth, I don't think we're going to do that because we may not have the opportunity, and you guys will probably you'll you guys will know why here later in the series. What's up? Hey, Skelter. Do you think you could help me with something? Why the hell would I want to help you with anything? I see you must have a cold. Your voice sounds a little bit funny. It's about the masquerade. Yeah? So what? Find somebody else to do it. I helped you with Patty. Can't you return the favor? Actually, no. We got the thing. But I've got a lead on that brutal serial killer. I'd like you to inspect the crime scene with me. No shit. At first I thought it's a bot, but that doesn't make any damn sense. You know, not they style. Maybe Kate. Got all the signs of an amateur job. What are you asking me for, though? You seem to be the type more concerned about protecting the masquerade than political squabbling. And I need muscle. Hmm, I'd say you got me pegged right then. Camarilla, Anarch, Ventru, Bruja. It's all just different words for kindred. I'm more concerned about getting shit done. We got some rogue vamp tearing up the street. Someone's got to bring him down before that shit gets out of hand. It's not likely Charlie will come back to the crime, but if he shows up, whatever he is, I'll be ready to put him down. And by the way, this ain't your prince's court. You better be ready to fight too, Cammy. That sounds good. I'll see you there soon. Neat. And oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Nines got banished. They're blaming him for the death of. Uh, Measly fuck! You got a lot of nerve showing up here, Lick. What did I do? You fingered Nines. Said he killed a goddamn primogen. I just saw him there. At least. I think I did. I'm willing to believe you were a patsy in all this, but I'll be watching you, kid. Where did Nines go, exactly? Don't expect to see him until this bullshit is resolved. Alright. I'm out of here. So, the voice acting for the Clan Quest mod got a lot better in those longer you speeches. You, fledgling. Who are you? My name is Lorenzo. I've been watching your dealings with Aditya. And who's Aditya? Aditya, the Asimite you plan to set on the Meathead Anarch. Talks like this! Ringing a bell? Ah, so I was right. So he does have a name. Anything else you can tell me about Adithia? Actually, what's an Asimite? <laughs> Your prince has truly left you alone in the dark, hasn't he? He cares for you so greatly, he sends you to shake hands with the devil and never even tells you its name. Don't worry, fledgling. You'll learn all about the Asimites soon enough. Imagine a race of warriors who have practiced the arts of combat longer than recorded human history. 
Imagine they are as prone to what a human psychologist would call obsession as the Malkavians are to schizophrenia. That their every waking thought revolves around murdering other kindred. That they have finally tuned their disciplines to that singular purpose. And that driving them forward on this path, heedless of the threat of the beast, is an overwhelming addiction to the blood of other clans. Now, I'm wondering whether they're doing this post or pre or post uh, breaking the Tremere curse. Well, that sounds lovely. And who are you then? I represent the Sword of Cain, the rightful rulers of the Earth, the only hope against the inevitable return of the Antediluvians. We own this city once, and once the Camarilla Pretenders and the Anarch Rabble have destroyed themselves, we will again. Choose us as friends now, and your future will be bright. Otherwise, it will be merely short. Did he tell you about this? What are your sources? An intriguing question with an answer that must remain a mystery for now. Let's just say I know the city's shadows better than a cab driver knows its streets. That I travel them more quickly than the Nosferatu do their stinking tunnels. I have my ways, Fletchling. Leave it at that. Good old Lasombra. Whatever you think. Just tell me about this deal. This Anarch is a vicious brute, and not even an Asimite could hope to escape unscathed. Catch him off guard, bleeding and drained, and he won't be walking away from the pier either. Consider it. Your prince will be satisfied. You will be free of the Asimite wretch's beck and call. Hey! And my wayward packmate will have met a fitting end. Everybody wins. Oh. Wayward packmate, huh? Oh man, we can do persuasion with him, but I'm kind of curious. Packmate. What's that supposed to mean? Let's just say you would have powerful friends looking after your interests if you accepted my offer. As far as I can see, you could use some friends these nights. How would you even know if I pulled this off? The same way I found out about you and Aditya in the first place. I have ways of knowing the sewer rats with their computers can only dream of. Now, I'll only ask once more. Are you in or out? Sure. I'll do it. Wonderful. Just be there when he steps onto the pier and make sure he doesn't step back off. I'll contact you once the dust settles. It's a deal. Just between you and I, though, you'll pay if this is an ambush. And poof. Well, that's cool. Intrigue. Now, do we have anything else that we need to do here? Um, I'm trying to remember. So we took care of that and that. I need to go grab a sledgehammer because the sledgehammer is going to be really effective against the gargoyle once we get back to Hollywood. But I think we probably should go ahead and travel to Santa Monica. Now, before we do that, though, there's something that I noticed off camera. I'm pretty sure I did this in one of the previous episodes where... Um, we saved the lady who was being attacked by the two thugs. And I'm trying to... I went over there to, like, check on her. And I I could swear, I don't know if it's, like, a Mandela effect or anything, but I, I'm pretty sure I did that on camera. And then it, like, the scene reset. So we're going to go ahead and head that direction first. And if you guys haven't seen this, it's a cool little addition uh, via the Clan Quest mod. And if we... It just gives us another opportunity to fill up the tank. I think
think it's right down this alleyway. I believe. Yes. Yes, it is. <coughs> now, the problem with this is there's a ton of people. Like, this is a heavily populated alley, as you can see. All right, excuse me, sir. Stop! Yeah, Stop, there it goes. Please. Keep quiet, bitch. Help! Help! Help anyone, please! God, you run your mouth a lot. I got a way to keep her from talking. She can keep screaming, though. <laughs> I like it when they scream. <laughs> Twirl's <Me> mustache. <laughs> move it! Move! 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 There you go. Uh, ah! Okay, talk to you real quick, can I? Apparently not. Time to run. Something updated. I'm not sure what. Maybe you should... Okay, we will talk to the hooker as soon as we are not being shot at because we are almost dead. And this looks like a nice place to hide. That is such a dangerous... I think that's exactly what this alley was designed for, was hiding from the authorities. Can we go through any of these doors? Are there any cops over here? Like, we should be evading. There we go. Police hunting. So let's just hang out here. Kind of look at our brief. Maybe spend some XP. The hooker you saw attacked looked relieved to be alive. Maybe you should talk to her. Now, the reason I was using the gun is I'm afraid that I would accidentally hit her with a katana. You know, some melee combat in the middle of that. I not didn't want to take any chances, though we probably did. Uh, she nearly died just via getting beaten down by the two thugs. Alright. So that is good. Let's look at our character sheet. We got 17 XP, guys. Where should it be spent? Uh, we could go ahead and raise our combat... Six and nine. Holy crap! We can get our dodge up to five or up to four if we wanted to. We could raise our stamina and just keep on getting tougher and tougher. We could even raise our raise our fortitude, and we could also raise our presence up to three. Might have to try that a little bit later. I know I'm holding off on spending all the sweet, sweet XP, but... So after this, we'll go talk to the uh, Lady of the Evening again. See what's up with her. And then we will... I guess head over to Santa Monica. And we, we just weren't prepared for that nonsense. And see what's going on with the pier and with the... Um, Okay, cool. Police are giving up. Let's go ahead and try to get out of this alleyway. And hopefully she's still there. Please do not shoot me when I turn the corner. Yeah, be nice if you were actually doing your job. 
Fuck, this shithole of the city is falling apart. City of Angels, my ass. I'm glad you wasted those bastards. They deserved it. My pleasure. Trust me. Listen, I'm really grateful. I don't really have any money or anything, but how about a freebie? Anytime you want it, okay? Sounds fair to me. Come closer. Oh, right with the cop there. That's bold. And let's make sure that we don't kill her, because we nearly just did. Holy crap. All right. I think we're good. Let's look at our... Oh, we still got our humanity of three. Must remember to dance before the next episode. All right. So I guess... Yeah, I guess the pier is in our future. Or we can go take on the gargoyle. Either way, Nolan's probably going to get a few rips in his uh, nice leather coat. Speaking of which, if you go to... Yeah, that's what Nolan looks like wearing the leather coat. Not too bad, actually. Because I believe that he is wearing that. Yeah, light leather. And I don't... I think we get the sledgehammer over at the... At the convenience store in Hollywood. I don't think we get it from Fat Larry. Away from here. To Santa Monica. Also, um, thank you in the comments for letting me know that I that you think that we can raise our humanity with XP. Let's actually go ahead and see that. Cost 100. Okay, that's a little bit pricier than uh, it would be in the tabletop. I think it's current rating times 2 to raise humanity in the tabletop. Wow. That is, uh, that's a bit steep. Well, let's go ahead and head over to the pier, make sure that we have got everything that we need. By the way, for you guys in the comments who were letting me know that I might be able to get human limbs from Gimbals and sell them to, uh, Pisha, you actually can't go back into Gimbal's studio anymore after you initially leave there. That'd be great, though. That'd be a great opportunity to just make some ch make some money. By the time we're done, though, Pisha would be, like, huge. Like that one vampire from Blade. Not exactly becoming of a Nagaraja. Alright, this should be fairly interesting. And that guy is still there by himself. I'm trying to remember why that is. Let's make sure we got the sword out. Fortitude is ready to be used. I don't know how bad this is going to get. It's probably going to get pretty bad, especially if Skelter's involved. Oh, speak of the devil. Ready to do this? Keep your eyes open, kid. There's more than vampires that go bump in the night. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. And I got a feeling we're not alone here. Well, let's go. Where are we going, Skelter? I guess to the end of the pier. It's a goddamn hey, stop right there. Oh! Everyone slices and dices. Hey, hold it. Freeze. Hey, stop right there. Yeah, I'm trying to slice Skelter up. Hey, hold it. Come on. Sorry, bud. It's just business. You know what? While they're, uh... 
There we go. And you know what? We're just going to take care of you too. Goodbye, Skelter. You actually won't be missed. Believe it or not. Now what do we do? Hmm. Well, that's strange. Did it bug? We took him out. Wait, maybe... Downtown. You better have something ready to trade to your contact. Oh, well, I've got something for him. It's sharp. Alright, I'm kind of confused as to what's going on here. Maybe he'll stop me in the sewers? Well, I hope it didn't bug out. If it did bug out, then we may have to do it again. Or maybe it'll update once we move here. Ah, okay. Quest updated. You successfully escaped the Santa Monica Pier. Skelter didn't make it as planned. Traded book for Skelter's demise. Did we? I'm so confused. Uh, do we head back maybe to the diner? Or check our... Oh, you know what? Let's check our email first. Then we'll check the diner. Guess that makes sense. Maybe we'll get an email from uh, our Asimite friend. Okay, take a bit of cash. We will grab that. And $300. Rolling in the dough. Do we have... Oh, holy crap. Okay, three are unread. Next. A confidential matter. As I understand, the rabble known as Skelter is no more. Good work. It's also come to my attention that you were forced to dispatch the agent that I had you working with. I assume this was in self-defense. Actually, I'm quite pleased. You'll learn quickly that resources will outlive their usefulness, useful, er, usefulness as their demands get too great. You've actually done me doubly the favor I've asked tonight. Good work. Oh, I guess we killed the Asimite in the fight. Wow, okay, that was a bad Asimite. Um, a gogi. In light of your success, it occurred to me that perhaps it is already time for you to undertake your a gogi, the ritual of sending you out to influence the power structure of the city and establish your domain for yourself, the Camarilla, and the clan. I've restocked your blood supply and had a sizable check mailed to you. Take this token offering as the tools you'll need to begin their journey. I expect no less than the best from you in this matter. I don't... I just, like, the thing with LaCroix, it's like... He is using us to take care of the dirty work, but he is rewarding us for it, at least. Thanks from Lorenzo. Cammy. You did good on the pier. That guy was a real thorn in my side. It's really too bad you're tied up with the Camarilla. You do well in the Sabbat. For your service, we'll overlook the warehouse incident. And maybe... We'll even get your back. For now, just one piece of advice. Don't bring that sarcophagus to LaCroix. Whatever's inside will destroy us all. And no one wants that. Lorenzo. Huh, we're making friends. 
All right, cool. I thought that we were actually going to have, like, a showdown with the Asimite. Holy crap! Okay, thank you, LaCroix. An envelope containing a bit of cash. Wait a minute. What's in the fridge? He said they restock the blood supply. They leave it here? Oh, yes. We'll take all those things. Well, shiny. You can pretty much buy anything we want now. So I think what we were going to buy is a sledgehammer and then take care of the little incident or the little, um, let's say, complication over at the Chinese theater to end the episode, guys. So see y'all there. All right. Fine, fine location where you can get yourself some nachos and a sledgehammer. Because lethal damage is just not going to work against the gargoyle. I believe that Montross punched the thing to death. But uh, we're going to upgrade our <laughs> upgrade our weaponry just a little bit. Because I don't, I don't think I had enough melee to use the sledgehammer with Montross. Nolan, however, that's a different story. So this should be fun. Then we can just sell the sledgehammer back. Anything here in the courtyard we need to be aware of? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's do this. I love the look of this gargoyle, too. Not what you would expect. You're expecting something from, like, the Disney show. And... Nice superhero landing. It was like if Planet of the Apes was during the Three Kingdoms era. So you must be the gargoyle I'm here to get rid of. Okay, fortitude. Ow. Okay, so you have a Let's go ahead and heal. Ow. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little bit of blood. Use the regular Vitae. Ow. Come on. There you go. That wasn't so hard. Defeated the gargoyle for Isaac. Harder than stone. And that's the thing. Like, he doesn't... Nolan doesn't care. <laughs> for the most part. Also, I know I, I don't think there's a way to negotiate with said gargoyle, so. Anything else here? This is actually a good place to... Oh, wait. Well, guns don't really do anything. But all right. Not too shabby. Yeah, let's go ahead and exit out of here, because I just don't want to bug the game if I save and exit, then we'd probably have to fight the gargoyle again and life would be unpleasant and gross. Alright. So, um, we have made a friend with a Lasombra of the Sabbat. We took out Skelter. Skelter is very dead. I don't think we should go back to the last round anytime soon. We got a lot of money from LaCroix and we took out a gargoyle, so it has been a very eventful episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time.
Later days, everyone.